While most of us will have heard of venom, how many actually know what it is? Venom is a mixture of biological toxins. Unlike a poison which must be swallowed or absorbed through the skin, venom is injected into the body during a sting or a bite. It can be used for hunting by disabling prey or as a defensive weapon in the face of attack. The difference in strength and how the venom functions will have a significant effect on how it works on the human body. Something that Jamie Seymour has learned firsthand. His new study will take him up against the creature that most people think of when they hear the word venom, the snake. There are more than 30 species of rattlesnake alone, all carrying different venoms. While some venoms target the body's nervous system, creating havoc with the complex network of nerves that control its vital functions, others attack flesh and tissue, effectively starting the digestive process before the victim is even eaten. Having bitten its prey, the rattlesnake waits for the venom to take effect before feeding. Someone who has handled plenty of these creatures over the years is Jules Sylvester. Good place. He's been helping movie makers to get their dangerous animal footage for many years. And he's taking Jamie to find North America's most dangerous rattlesnakes and get a venom sample for future testing. But in this rugged terrain, this medium-sized rattler is extremely difficult to spot if you don't know what to look for. You can be standing right on top of a meter-long Mojave and still not see it. So Jamie Seymour has taken the precaution of wearing bite-proof Kevlar leg protectors. Oh, Jules, Jules. That's a Mojave. Very, very potent neurotoxin. It's most unusual because most rattlesnakes are hematoxin. Yeah, yeah. That's neurotoxin. The Mojave's venom is a complex cocktail of enzymes and other proteins forming an incredibly strong neurotoxin designed to block the firing of nerves, particularly those controlling the muscles. It's the quickest way to stop prey in its tracks. Nothing like the amount of venom we're getting from the other one. Knock nerves out and it's game over. It's paralysis, even death. That's amazing, isn't it? The Mojave rattlesnake is not the only rattler in these parts. In the lower desert nearby is the larger and more infamous Western Diamondback. But despite their overlapping territories, each has a very different venom. Ah! I <laughs> got you. Yeah, I got him. I got him. The Western Diamondback carries hematoxic venom that attacks blood vessels. Like many snake venoms, it starts the chemical breakdown of flesh even before the victim is eaten. Now that is your classic Western Diamondback rattlesnake. All the cowboy movies, this is the best Hollywood snake in the world. This, these guys account for more snake bites than any other snake in the country. It's obvious the rattle's making noise. I mean, what do you want it for? It's a warning for probably bison not to step on him. It's a go away, leave me alone. The Western Diamondback is more widespread and likely to be found at the edge of towns and cities. 